Even when your body won't cooperate, if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. That's one of the messages this local artist hopes you get when you see his works of art. And this is Scott Menzel uh, from De Pere. Hi, Scott. Hi. You've got your, a couple of your works of art behind you. Yes. But that's not the big news this week. The big news is that some of your works of art are going to be unveiled at the new Brown County Community Treatment Center. Yes. How did that all come about? Um, it started back about a year ago, and I started taking a course through NWTC, and the guy got me in contact with Tom Hintz, and they saw me, I was down at the Neville Art Museum, and they saw what I was doing, and they thought it would be a great idea if I would be able to create something for the new center. Because you have works of art all over the place. A loft hotel, where else are some of your pieces? Uh, Fertellas down in Milwaukee on the riverfront. And also in the Capitol in Madison um, at the Lieutenant Governor's Office. And we do have some uh, video that we recently shot at Lambeau Field. You were there in the atrium. How did the Packers recognize your work and what, how did they get involved in this process? Well, we were trying to get the funding to produce the art. And the Packers helped donate money to the, to the treatment center which allowed us to be able to produce the art to be exhibited. So they were a major donor. How did um, that make you feel to, to be a part of what happened at Lambeau last week? It, it was pretty amazing. Um, it, almost surreal, actually. It was something that I think every artist dreams of, is having their work on public exhibit. And to have this happen um, tells me I'm in the right direction, I think. Unlike other artists, though, you don't have the abilities that they do to be able to, to use a paintbrush when you want to. Um, for, for people who don't know, Scott has SMA, which is spinal muscular atrophy. It's a form of muscular dystrophy. Yeah. So how do you do your art? <laughs> um, what I used to draw traditionally, you know, pencils and I did watercolors. And my frustration was is I couldn't move my arms far enough to create what I wanted to create. And work, I went to St. Edward College, and I used to work in the photo department. And I got introduced to computers and computer graphics. So I realized the computer gives me a whole nother palette. Um, and it's another medium for me to create it. Because as large as a printer is, I can produce artwork that's any size. We're looking at video of you at home. Amanda is there helping you out. Um, how, does, how does she help you? Um, basically, I have to be set up. And I can't move my arms very well. So she helps me set up with a mouse on my tray. And, you know, gets the computer all set up. Um, and then I pretty much just go to town after that. Amanda's your wife? Not my wife yet. But You're Sarah. engaged. Is that right? I'm sorry. Yeah. Beyonce? Yep. Okay. Um, so... But what I wanted to point out is that you use Photoshop. A lot of us know about it for manipulating our photographs, but you create an entire work of art. Yeah, yeah, Photoshop is mainly intended for uh, photo retouching and restoring. And I realized, you know, it's more than that. You can do, it, it's an unlimited um, program where anything that your mind can conceive, you usually can create it. So I use Photoshop, and I also use another program called Painter which mimics real life brush strokes. Um, I have a little sp uh, pen that connects to the laptop and um, it looks just like you're painting with oils. It was really amazing to watch you because within 20 minutes, uh, it went from a couple of lines to really a unique piece of art. And the pieces that are going up tonight at the uh, Community Treatment Center, you call them? Well, it's entitled The Seed of Life. And why did you call it that? I, I wanted to create almost a storyline that would help inspire others. And I wanted to create several different pieces well, that all tied together. So it was on the idea of the human body is kind of like a flower. And you know, if you get the right nutrients and the right sunlight, you know, the energy, positive energy, the flower can blossom. And everybody that goes there wants to change. So the artwork itself, um, 
I don't know, it's kind of fit, actually. I thought. Reflects what's happening yeah, at the Community yeah, Treatment yeah. Center. The big open house is tonight. Will you be there? Oh, yeah. You can meet the artist tonight. It's from 6 to 9 at the Brown County Community Treatment Center. Brand new facility on Gershwin. We have more information about that, as well as a link to Scott's website. You can see more of his fine art by going to our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. And we've got to let Scott go because he's teaching a class this morning on Photoshop. Thank you so much. Anytime. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.